All it took for Steve Cohen to convince everyone he was indeed a better owner than the Wilpons was one Black Friday shopping spree in which the Mets reportedly agreed to terms with outfielders Mark Kanye and Starling Marte and infielder Eduardo Escobar on contracts worth a combined $123.5 million. The haul was as impressively versatile as it was swift by Cohen's new front office tandem of Sandy Alderson and general manager Billy Epier. Kanye and Escobar are the type of expensive depth pieces the Mets never added in the back end of the Wilpon reign. And as good as Brandon Nimmo has been the last four years, Marte, fresh off a monster season in which he led the majors in stolen bases, should give the Mets the natural center fielder they've lacked since Juan Lagares' gold glove winning peak in 2014. But given all the gaping holes the Mets had exposed during a 2021 in which they managed to spend more time in first place than any sub-500 team in history, the Black Friday moves should represent just the start of the Mets' off-season shopping, not the bulk or even the peak of it. At some point soon, maybe even tonight or on Cyber Monday, the Mets need to make the biggest splash of the pre-lockout winter. The Mets need to sign Max Scherzer. The Hall of Fame-bound pitcher, who set an almost surely unbreakable record last year by failing to reach base once in 59 plate appearances, won't further bolster what was one of the NL's worst offenses last year. But he'd be the safest investment of the winter, in more ways than one, for the Mets. As Francisco Lindor and James McCann proved again last season, sure thing offensive upgrades for the Mets rarely turn out as such, but even with Lindor, McCann and everyone else in the lineup outside of Nimmo and Pete Alonso struggling, the Mets were comfortably atop the NL East thanks to a rotation led by the otherworldly Jacob deGrom and the solid 2-3 punch of Marcus Stroman and Taiwan Walker. But deGrom, of course, never pitched after July 7 due to a sore right elbow, leaving him with perhaps the most plaintive pitching season of all time. Walker, pitching a full season for the first time since 2017, wore down in the second half, 0-8 with a 7-13 ERA after the All-Star game, 